does seem like prices for everything have gone up during the pandemic. Housing, unfortunately, no exception. Rent prices across the U.S. surging over 10% last year. The median rent for a one-bedroom is right now about $1,300 a month. But rent jumping even higher in many major cities, making affordable housing even harder to find. The three areas seeing the biggest increases in Florida, Las Vegas, and Memphis. And News Nation's Brian Enton is in Miami, which, Brian, happens to be the fastest growing metro area. So tell us, how is this impacting renters? Well, just imagine, Nicole, you get the call from your landlord that they are raising your rent 40 to 50%. That is happening here, and it's got people with some very good jobs in big trouble. Joe Flahey has pretty much what everyone would consider a very good job. He's an ICU nurse at one of the most prestigious hospitals in South Florida. He lives in Miami with his wife and two kids, but can no longer afford the rent. But when I hear someone like you, ICU nurse, that's a great job. It's kind of shocking that you, you can't afford a place here. Yeah, I have a great job in probably the best paying hospital in the city of Miami. I love my job. I love my hospital. Um, I think it's more of a, you know, a bigger problem systemically. One call from Joe's landlord, and Joe's rent went from $1,725 a month to $2,400. My landlord had said to me, oh, it's not personal. I'm like, well, when you're dealing with people's homes, it is personal. This is Joe's apartment where the rent basically went up 39% overnight. He says he likes the place, but he says there's nothing really special or fancy about it. No real amenities like a pool or a gym or anything like that. What happened to Joe is happening from coast to coast. These are the top five cities with the highest rent prices. In New York, the average one bedroom will cost you about 3,200 bucks. San Francisco is 2,800, Boston 2,700, San Jose 2,300, and Miami also $2,300. But of all the cities, Miami saw one of the biggest average percentage increases for rentals. 26% year over year. So a lot of people are starting to have to, you know, rent an Airbnb, stay with friends in the meantime, or, or family while, while they find a place to rent. And, and it's tough. It's tough to watch. Unless you're willing to move way out into the suburbs, realtors say it's almost impossible to find affordable rentals. Getting a roommate is becoming more popular in some cities. Others have even seen an increase in mobile homes as a cheaper option. How does this play out for you and your family? Can, can you stay here? It looks like it's a strong possibility that we're, we're going to have to relocate. Um, we're going to rent for another year here and reevaluate things. But, you know, it, it, it'll be one of those most painful things ever to me to, to leave Miami. So some people like Joe will absorb the increase for the next year, see if the market corrects itself, uh, and then possibly leave cities like Miami. And it's interesting, Nicole, there are even discussions uh, here about the need for possibly rent-controlled apartments, something we've only really heard about in places like New York City. Yeah, Brian, I have to say, you know, when you when you said in there how much his rent is increasing his families, I mean, I have to imagine that they were just absolutely stunned. $700 a month, that's a huge increase. Oh, absolutely. And imagine, Nicole, if you're single. A lot of the people I talked to today off camera are single and they're learning that their rent is going up five to seven hundred dollars, thinking, how can I possibly afford this on my own? Wow. All right, Brian Enton, great reporting as always. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.